Hello everybody, it's Richard Lucas here and I'm back with some more Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 2 and we're going to crack on with the next chapter. In the last chapter I actually managed to get the Parasite out of Leon and... I've forgotten her name now, Ashley. And I think we're actually moving on now to the last parts of the game now which will be nice. So the last, I think, couple of videos were a little bit difficult for me because I died so many times particularly trying to kill it and just trying to get through some very tough sort of areas but thankfully uh, Mike came to my rescue and then they shot him down Mike in the chopper whom everybody knows and he's probably one of the greatest characters ever created because um, I kind of forgot about him so I got to this point with a load of Ganados and I was like what do I do now where do I go uh, I felt outnumbered and then Mike came and saved the day basically so now I've got Ashley, I've got to try and figure out how to get out of here. Because I honestly just cannot remember. It should be pretty simple. I think this is it actually. This has got to be like the last parts of the game. I can't foresee there being anything else. I do know that the last boss, Sadler, um, is actually pretty easy from what I remember. He's not actually not too difficult. He's not as hard as some of the bosses I've faced, provided I think you can get the rocket launcher. So let's go and see if I can indeed do this. And then, if I can, then that would be groovy. Right, what have we got? Incendiary grenade. TMP ammo. Right, okay, we've got the merchant here. And there's like a dustbin there. Nothing in the dustbin. Welcome stranger. Okay, so I don't really know if there's really any point seeing him to be honest because I don't think I've got anything to sell or, to, or I don't know if I can really tune anything up. I, I have a go like but No, see I, I don't really have too much Um, 25 grand Do You know what let's We'll up the reload speed for the broken butterfly on the magnum. Um, and I will buy... No, can't buy a first aid spray for some reason. Right, okay. We've seen the merchant. There's a herb there, or herb. The question is, where do I go? I think I need to go down here by the looks of it. Ah. Here we go. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Yeah, I think this is like the final boss now, so this might take me a few tries, but... Oh, God. Age is up there. Try a new trick because that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me to show my appreciation. I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. Ada, stand back. Holy shit, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. I Oh my god. That is absolutely amazing. But incredibly deadly. Shit, it's got eyeballs everywhere. Emergency locking down elevator. Right, okay. So I guess I've got to somehow shoot him in the eye or in the face. If I can. Alright, it's not working. Nothing I do is really working. Oh god. Um, combined herbs. Right, I've got to try and stay calm and remember how to beat him but I just can't remember 
it's been so long. I'm just gonna have to do my best and just try and beat try and beat him if I can. Right, okay. Come on then. Come on then. Come for me. Come for me. Come for me. There we are, I floored him. I floored him with the barrel. Right, I think it's the eyeball, isn't it? I think that's the key. But nothing seems to be working, so what I'm going to do is I'll just run away from him. That seems to be the best tactic. Take the green herb. Now, I don't know whether this will do anything, by the way. Oh, and it does. Oh, there you go. Floored him. Okay. Got lucky there, though. Okay, that didn't work. Alright. Okay, so I guess I've just got to find ways to damage him. So, we'll just move over here. Oh, God. Lots of little quick time events here as well. Honestly, um, it's going to be pure dumb luck if I beat this guy. Because um, I don't really know how to do it. Right. Um, I've got several grenades though, so they, they might come in useful. Shit, alright. There you go. Boom. Missed me. Right, he's doing his little jump in the air trick now, so... I want to see if I can use my uh, incendiary grenade. Right, okay. That seemed to work. That's worked, I think. I think it's worked. Okay. Okay, maybe not. Oh, God. This is terrible. This is not good, guys. I'm not having a good time here. Alright, got to got move, basically. Get my ass handed to me. Right, there's another barrel here, so... I'm going to try and use that barrel against him. And maybe shoot him again, see if that does anything. Come on, then. Come on. Come for me, you know you want to. Got ya. Alright, here we go. Show me that eyeball. There you go. See, it only lets me do it once. And once only, so it looks like you've just got to keep doing that. Just keep finding ways to beat him. So find different barrels and find different methods. Alright, so I've just got to keep moving around. I'm trapped. I think I'm trapped, basically. Here we go, and I've got to climb up again. I'll just keep running around and just... Just keep keeping them busy, I think that'll be the best thing to do. Honestly, nothing nothing's working, so I don't know what to do. The elevator's not working. So I can't go on the elevator, that's fine. Keep moving. Oh, okay, I, I just saw some eyeballs on his legs, right, got you. Yeah, got it. That's it. Right, okay. Got him again, and I'm gonna run. Oh, okay. That's what you do. You just climb on him. Got ya. Right, okay. That's what you do. So I didn't even realise that, guys. Well, anyway, let's move away from him. Now, a new bridge has opened up, finally, so... The bridge tends to be random, doesn't it? By the looks of it. And you've got the rain effects lashing down as well, which is absolutely beautiful. And I love rain effects in video games. So now I've got to somehow do the same thing. Keep this guy busy. Oh, shit. Come on, then. See, I can see... I can see... He's got eyeballs on him. There you go. Come on. Come on, pal. Shit. Alright. Let me up. Alright. Basically, I need to hit his eyeball. 
if I can. Need to hit his eyeballs and his legs, but I'm having no luck. There okay, has one. Okay. Just letting me climb up though. There you go. I've got him again. Right. Press start. Press start. That was close. Right. Combined. Okay. There we go. Right. Need to move out of his way, I think. Right. We'll just keep moving back. Try and hit. Try and hit an eyeball. There you go. I've got one. I don't know where Leon's going. And there we go. Climb on him again. And stab him in the eye. That seems to be the key. Right. Okay. Now what's happening? Use this. Ah. He just give me the rocket launcher. Right. Okay. Need to get behind him. Alright. Oh, not this crap again. Right. Okay. So I need to make it fit and it doesn't fit, so... Oh, this sucks. It will not give me it. Right, so what I'm going to do... I've just got to make a bit of room. Can you believe this, guys? The final boss and I have to make room for the rocket launcher. This is ridiculous. But, well, needs must, so that's what I shall do. Oh, my God. See, this boss isn't that difficult compared to, like... What's his name? Salazar is actually pretty simple. I was quite surprised how simple really. Right, so um, let me move that up there. I can probably move that up there. And then, will it fit? Oh, it, it almost fits. There we go. Right, okay. Right, let's get the rocket launcher out. Here we go, guys. We've got the rocket launcher now. What we're going to do is we're going to blast him with it. Here we go. Boom. There you go. Straight into the eye. And Lord Sadler goes down. So that's pretty much almost it now. So I've defeated the end boss. Um, I've now got to get Ashley out of here, which I think is really pointless. Um, out on like a boat, which I have to avoid. Do some quick time things. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Right, I've got the jet ski key. So, I need to pick up Lord Sadler's stuff, which was 100,000. Now I need to get out of here. So I need to um, find my way back out. And that's not easy for me because I'm a little bit lost now. So, ah, this is the one. Right, okay go down here so I need to get Ashley and we need to leave basically but I don't know where I'm supposed to go is the thing I'm hoping that a cutscene will kick in and we have to get off this island now it's gonna blow any minute it's gonna what oh okay good it takes us into the cave that's good major panic Right, so there's just a few little bits to do before we can actually watch the game ending. So, as I said, I have to navigate the jet ski and do some really stupid things uh, just to get through. Um, I think it's a bit pointless, to be honest, because, let's face it, everything's sort of done. 
So I, I don't see why they couldn't have just illustrated this in a long cutscene. I don't know why I have to sort of participate in this, to be honest. But, well, needs must. Um, we've got a boogie, so let's do it. Get on the jet ski. So I'm absolutely no good with this thing. But I will do my best. <coughs> Pardon me. Right, get on, Ashley. I don't even know what I'm doing, so here we go. I will just do my best from what I can remember. Right, I'll keep driving. If you get it wrong, then I think it's like instant death or something. It's really pointless. Here we go. Boom. Alright. What you mean that's it? I've done it? Oh no, there's still a bit more to go. This is the one where you've got to see that, you've got to watch what you're doing basically because um, they put these boulders and stuff in the way, these stalactites I guess. So that's why I hate this bit because I just think it's a bit it's great, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit pointless. I'm just like, just let me finish the game already because I can do it, but it's just a bit of a hassle, really. See, look, it makes you do it again. And it's like, what is the point if I've, I've just done that one bit? It makes you do the whole thing again, so I don't particularly want to, but here we go, guys. Giving it my very best. Alright, let's do this. Oh, do, 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 do. Oh, come on. It's pointless. It's really pointless. I will be doing, as I mentioned, um, if I ever get through this, I will be doing a second playthrough of Resident Evil 4 um, with all my weapons because um, I've always wanted to do that. Like, play through the game and then play through it again with all my weapons because you get like a different experience so I'll feel a lot more cocky and a lot more badass because I'll have some sort of decent weapons finally to take with me and I want to try and get the rocket launcher if I can as well from uh, the merchant which might take me a while I don't know how much it is but pretty pricey right okay here we go accelerate alright yeah this next bit I can't do for the life of me. Oh, shit. Right, here we go, guys. I can't even remember how to do this, but I'll do my best. Alright, okay. No. So, I can't slow down. I can't stop. Um, I have to keep going forward, so that means I have to memorise the stalactites. Right, okay. Oh my god. Just let me finish the game already. I don't really want to do this bit. <laughs> oh god. It's just boring. It's like it's not even fun and it's instant death. Right, come on, let's go. I guess I've got to just memorise where everything's coming from. Okay. Okay. There we go, boom. Right, okay, first bit over with. Okay, Island is sort of blowing up now. Yeah, you know, I wish Leon, Ada would have took Leon and Ashley with him in the chopper. That would have been nice ended. I don't know why I do this. It's ridiculous. So I can't slow down, otherwise the tide's going to get me. Okay. Oh, great. So I went the wrong way. Um, I really don't know what to say now. Suffice to say, it's like the end of the game is in my sight. So I've just got to knuckle down and get this one bit over with. And I don't like this bit at all. Right. Having to do the same thing over and over really sucks. I guess the only way to do it is just to do it. 
no other way, basically. Okay. Right, okay. Move, move, Leon, move, move. Okay. Right, let's do this, come on. So stick to the left. Stick to the right. To the right. To the left. To the left. To the right. Oh! And there we go, and I've done it. And there you go, guys. Now let's sit back and enjoy the ending. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, uh, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. So there you go guys, Resident Evil 4 for the PlayStation 2 completed and I have to say, amazing game. Um, I had my problems with it during the latter stages but I was finally able to get through it, you know, uh, intact. Um, i tell you why I love this game because as difficult as it can be at times it's never overly difficult and anybody can like pick up and play it whether you're a novice or an expert. Not that I'd ever really use that term novice. Um, too much because um, I said I think anybody can get into this game and sort of learn its mechanics it's probably one of the best games I've ever played in the survival horror genre and definitely made a lasting impression on me um, I think I probably mentioned this in my very first video I saw screenshots for this in a magazine back when I used to buy computer magazines and stuff um, and I thought I have to have this game and like a few months later it was actually on sale in game for like 20 quid the special edition and that's the version I'm playing now and I just absolutely fell in love with it it basically just took over my life for a few months um, I thought it was absolutely brilliant basically um, I just loved sort of the different chapters the story the script the gameplay everything about this game is absolutely excellent um, it builds tension and I think after this I do feel like the series kind of lost its way a little bit. I know that Resident Evil 5 was hyped to the moon and I remember seeing screenshots for that as well. This was when I was, I think I was at uni. There were screenshots in magazines and to be honest I got caught up in the hype. I was like yes, you know, this is going to be the greatest game ever and I got an Xbox 360 purely so I could get Resident Evil 5. I played Resident Evil 5 and to be honest um, it's alright but it's not, I don't think it's as good as this because they stick you with a partner and stuff you know. I've just realised something really strange, Michael Goff, it, I've just seen um, Lord Sadler, Michael Goff, would that be the legendary actor Michael Goff who played Alfred in Batman and was in some Hammer Horror films, that's quite strange, I'll have to do some research on that. So basically guys the plan is with this is um, I'm going to be doing a second playthrough through this game basically with all my weapons um, and basically just a fun little play let's play um, because I've got some decent weaponry and I want to see if I can get the rocket launcher as well and just blast my way through the game 
Uh, I just think it'll be a really entertaining another set of videos to be honest. Um, I am planning more Let's Plays. Uh, the next one will be, I think, probably Donkey Kong Country 2 on the snares. I figured since I've already done number 2, sorry, number 1, I'm getting mixed up. I'll do number 2 and then probably number 3 after that. You know, but uh, I wanted to get kind of a PS2 one done anyway. And I do have, I've got loads of PS2 games I really need to get played uh, for my channel as well. So, yeah. But yeah, Resident Evil 4, fantastic. If you've not played this, and I do know there are people out there who haven't played this, you need to play this. I know what you're probably thinking, Resident Evil, you know, oh, it's, it's going to be like the other games. It really isn't. This one just basically does away with the tank control. There are no tank controls. It's an over-the-shoulder perspective. It's absolutely awesome. And like, whenever I try to, dis to describe this game to someone... I can't because words just cannot sum up how awesome it is. Don't get me wrong, it's frustrating in parts, but trust me, play this if you haven't played it already. You can get it for next to nothing from now. From now, I mean, I got the original for about four pounds in the game. No, CX, sorry, the other week. All right, what's happening now? I think it's like a cutscene. <laughs> it's protecting the laws of the Raccoon Police Department. I love it. Absolutely. And again, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. Story of my life. So I was killed 65 times, 61% um, hit ratio. I killed 920 enemies and I cleared it in 16 hours, 16 minutes and 39 seconds. So I don't think there's any ranking in this game. Now you can buy an infinite launcher and a Matilda from the merchant, great. I think the M Matilda's free, but the Infinite Launcher you do have to pay for. So that's why I, I, I talk about this game, being that anybody can play it, that you don't have to be like a highly skilled player to play it. Because trust me, I'm not a highly skilled player, basically, you know. There we are, I've cleared the game. So we'll go back to the main screen. So yeah, I'll be doing a second Let's Play of this. Um, Maybe even alongside my next Let's Play as well. So I'll be uploading some more Resident Evil 4 videos. So I just want to say thank you so much for checking out my Let's Play. And for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Um, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to support the channel and my videos. And please don't forget to give me some feedback as well. And join me next time for another retro Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you soon.